again, though, this is the week of Halloween um, at the Huntington Memorial Library, and Alex, our former clerk, decided to give us some interview time, and it kind of blossomed. So we all had a few stories about what's haunted at the Huntington, and we wanted to share them with you. So this is Tina Winstead, the director of Huntington Memorial Library, the public library in Oneonta. Um, and we're here to talk about the ghost that haunts the public library. So Tina, can you give me some, some general overview about the ghost? Well, there's evidence, strong evidence, that Harriet Huntington haunts the Huntington home. I say no. I say Harriet died in California. But there was a Spanish flu here 100 years ago, and they used this house as a hospital, so certainly there's some spirits. Okay. Is there a specific time or place in the building that the ghost tends to appear? You know, I've had it reported in this room, the second floor room, where there used to be a stage behind me. I've had it um, my own office, the bookshelves periodically just tap the wall. They just wiggle. They just wiggle. And it's not a set time. So um, downstairs the, um, in the circulation area, books have just been thrown off the bookshelves. So kind of, I think everywhere maybe. Okay, this is a very disrespectful ghost. Um, are there any other mysteries surrounding the ghost besides the identity? The identity is a good mystery. Um, otherwise, we don't. We, it's just. Uh, I know my predecessor felt like she saw a ghost here all the time. I've never seen one. Um, somebody else has seen something out of the corner of their eyes. Other current staff members, but I have not, so I don't know. Have you read any books about the ghost? Because the ghost appears in a book that we have at, at a college library. What's the name of the book? It's called Weatherstocking Ghosts, I believe. Oh, right. And there's an article about... Oh, what did it say? Uh, I believe it talks about Harriet Huntington specifically as the ghost. It's been a while since I read it. I read it when it came out because I noticed <laughs> that uh, there was a section about college library. Oh, you know, so. I haven't read it myself, so I don't know. Okay, so ultimately, my last question, do you believe in the ghost? I've been trying to hold back and not tell you. I do not believe in ghosts. Why not? <laughs> I don't believe in ghosts because I've never seen one. But you've seen events on the cameras that seem to relate to ghosts. Nice. Leather stocking ghosts. Oh, you have it. <laughs> the ghost just threw it at me. <laughs> no. No, no. <laughs> Good job. Way to go, Christine. Bridget. Um, oh, there it is, Huntington Memorial Library. See, I don't, I don't believe in those. So. Okay, okay. But so we'll talk to other people, and they'll tell you some of their real hard-hitting stories. All right. When I am looking on my cameras to do playback, the light, it only, um, it only detects uh, movement. And sometimes in the middle of the night, it flickers on. It like, it, the camera flicks back on because it sees movement, even though I don't see movement. Do you believe that's the ghost? <laughs> right. You already told us you don't. <laughs> I cannot lie. Hi, I am Ariel Wilbur. I'm the public services librarian here. I've been here for a year, uh, a, year a little more than a year. Um, and there have been two times where um, I will be sitting at my desk and I have a bookshelf behind me and to the left. And um, the first time I had anything happen to me, um, I was sitting at my desk, Bridget was right across from me. Neither of us were making like any sudden movements, walking, straight breathing, and a photo album, no, photo frame fell at me at an angle. <laughs> so it's like over here and I'm sitting here and it falls on my head. Naturally, that was very startling. Um, and then there was another time where I was cutting paper, still not making a ton of um, 
crazy movement and the whole top shelf of the bookshelf fell on me, including um, a lot of Bridget's um, uh, totes that were full of things. And what are those other things that you have? Like, they're not like connects. They feel like not puzzle pieces. Do you know what? No. I what you're talking about. Anyway, a I ton of stuff fell on me and it was super alarming. Sounds alarming. Did you see the ghost at all? No. Are you no. sure it wasn't? I've never seen um, anything. I've just had things pulling off the shelves at me. It's very spooky. Very spooky. <laughs> and naturally, I, I kind of swore in the library. No, no. <laughs> we're going to edit that. <laughs> That's out. It's all right. <laughs> no one's ever sworn in this building. <laughs> but those are my stories. All right. Well, and thank you for sharing. It's scary. Us. So this is Bonnie Shaw. Bonnie is a library clerk at Huntington Library. Do you yes. want to tell us your story? Uh, sure. Um, I've been here for about six years, and probably a couple of years ago or so, um, I'm standing at, at the surf desk looking out toward the front room, and uh, we have the shelf there where we used to keep all our new books. And for some reason, and this happened twice, um, some books fell off the shelf, and there wasn't anyone over there, you know, walk around and make any vibration that type of and the thing that uh, about them falling off is they didn't just drop down I went over to see why they fell and um, there was no nothing they weren't on the edge they weren't you know in a, a position where they could have just slipped and fell off the shelf and I thought they kind of fell far from the shelf and then the next time it happened I actually saw them and they were kind of airborne and they went probably about two feet and then landed on the ground. So I knew something was up with that because there was no way that they could have just flown off the shelf. There's no nothing behind it. Um, and so that I was always wondering about that. I used to blame Harriet Huntington for that. And um, a couple of other things. And in this room, as a matter of fact, the nonfiction section, when I've been up here shelving at times, um, if you look straight down where that picture is against the wall, uh, if I'm over here, there's been some times when I've seen, I thought it was a patron walking through. And, and I was thinking, well, I didn't see them come in, you know, where they, and then I thought maybe they came in the other entrance. But I would go down there and there was no one there. And that happened a few times where I was sure I saw somebody walk through those shelf aisles and there wasn't anyone that was in the, in the room with me. Um, and then just the other day, something new happened, so I'll fill you in on that one. Uh, I opened up in the morning, and of course it's dark when you come in early, and um, you have to you know, um, disarm the alarm and uh, lock the door behind you. And before I got over to the lights to turn them on, I thought I heard something at the other end of the room near the elevator entrance. It sounded like a child saying something and then a man answering her. So I was thinking, well, who was in the library? I thought I was the only one in here, and I was thinking maybe the maintenance man, but it, it sounded like a child as well. So I turned the lights on, and of course there was nothing there. And then the next day I listened for it again when I came in, because I wanted to see if it was something else I was hearing, and it just sounded like that. And I didn't hear anything at all the second day, and then the, the second time was yesterday morning, and I heard the same not the child, but uh, like a man's voice uh, near the elevator entrance with no one there. So, those are my ghost stories <laughs> for the <laughs> library. <laughs> those <Yeah>. ones are <laughs> spooky. Yeah, they are. Especially the part where you think you see somebody walking yeah. through there and there's nobody there. It was kind of creepy. That is creepy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. Wow. Uh, okay. I'm Summer Coyle. Um, I've lived here almost a year, um, and I have a few ghost stories. So I was on the third floor by myself doing some work, and I was in the back where there's closets behind me, and I heard whispers behind me, like people whispering. And I turned like this 
very slowly and then there was a whiteboard on the wall and it came crashing down and I got really cold too like the the, the hair on my arms were sticking up so I ran out of there <laughs> and then I told everybody about it and I've also when I'm in this room heard screams and I heard it probably like five times um, and once I was downstairs and another girl actually heard it and she was like, what was that? And I was like, I've been hearing that for months, so I don't know. Um, and I've noticed when I'm walking, like I'll walk into like a cold spot in like certain rooms, like I'm kind of like walking through and it'll be like cold for a second and then it'll go away. What I felt in the few months I've been here. Wow. <laughs> so how is the scream? Is it a, like a? It's like a really like, loud. It's like like a moan scream, like oh, like oh. I don't know. It's so <laughs> weird. I don't want to. It's like, like a weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a weird sound. Like a banshee. Yeah. Is there, like, yeah, did you tell him for like when you did your thing about the um, influenza hospital? Okay. Yeah, you did say that. Yeah, yeah I did. Yeah. And that's why you guys were saying you thought it was Harriet, but Summer and I have pieced together. It has to be somebody, the person that you see has to be somebody who died in the flu. Yeah. yeah. When the library was People used. that died here. I mean, I wish we could find out how many people like. Yeah, I can't find here. much in the papers at all about this building used as that. There's just one yeah, line. I never heard that either until recently, so. Yeah, I found it in the microfilm, just one line. Is there, are there any pictures from that time? Um, I didn't see any, oh, okay. so I don't know.